Hi friends, today we are going to talk about subtle signs of human behavior that can tell us a lot about our relationships and feelings. Did you know that often our unconscious gestures and actions give away much more than words? Let's explore these subtleties together on Greatest Quotest. Have you ever wondered if the person you think about before you go to sleep could be the key to your happiness or the source of your experiences? Let's delve deeper into the world of unconscious signs and signals we send and receive in our daily lives. Pay attention to the behavior of the girl who loves you. She may involuntarily blush or avoid looking at you when you are around, which is a sign of nervousness and hidden feeling. And did you know that according to psychologists, blush not only because of embarrassment, but also from a sense of deep respect. If a girl in your presence becomes shy, her voice changes, becomes quieter and less confident. It may be a sign that she has special feelings for you. Psychologists say that uh, change in tone of voice is an unconscious way to get attention. Notice that she laughs at your jokes, even if they're not particularly funny. This can be a sign of sympathy too. Laughter is not only a response to humor, but also a way to create an emotional connection. Men with strong feelings often speak with a lower tone of voice when communicating with the object of their affection. This is due to a subconscious desire to show their masculinity and attractiveness. A woman who has warm feelings for you will often smile when talking to you. And it will be a sincere smile that reflects her true emotions. A sincere smile activates the muscles around your eyes, which is hard to fake. Those who avoid talking to you can sometimes have the strongest feelings. Psychologists say that sometimes people try to avoid the object of their attraction to control their feelings or out of fear of being rejected. There are two types of people who avoid direct eye contact. Those who are trying to deceive or hurt and those who are trying to hide their love. Direct gaze may be too intense for a person hiding their true feelings. When a girl shares her problems with you, it's not just complaining. It's a sign of trust in you. Sharing personal experiences can be a sign of a deep emotional connection. Extreme shyness in a girl in your presence, when she suddenly becomes silent, can be a manifestation of strong feelings for you. It could be a way of self-defense against feeling vulnerable. Don't be surprised if your wife remembers little things from the past. Women actually have a better memory for details. Studies show that women are better at remembering emotionally intense events. Love makes people beautiful in our eyes, not the other way around. Emotional attraction changes our perception of a person's appearance. The hardest goodbyes are the ones we never talk about or explain. Unspoken words can leave deep marks in the soul. 
Ignoring is often the choice of wise people who prefer silence to conflict. Wisdom often lies in the ability to remain calm and not let emotions take over. A friendship that has lasted more than seven years is likely to last a lifetime. This is due to the fact that during this time people have time to experience many important events and life changes together, which strengthens their bond. Be careful of those who continuously praise you. This behavior can hide dangerous intentions. Excessive praise can be a sign of manipulative behavior. If a woman is constantly looking at you or stealing glances, especially if she is shy, it could be a sign of her interest. Nonverbal cues often say more than words. Easy access to information sometimes makes it difficult to remember information. In the digital age, our brains are overloaded with information, which can reduce its long-term memory capacity. Prolonged loneliness is comparable in health damage to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Loneliness not only affects your psychological well-being. If a woman shows interest in a man, she may look in his direction more often or observe him from afar. Her gaze is involuntarily drawn to someone who is pleasing and interesting to her. This happens because the female brain subconsciously measures partners through eye contact. In any case, private glances in your direction from the same woman show that you are not indifferent to her. Although, of course, it is difficult to interpret them unambiguously. We hope this information will help you better understand the subtleties and nuances of human behavior, emotions, and relationships. Often we don't understand the deeper reasons why we or our loved ones act in certain ways. Analyzing the subtle signals that reveal attraction, affection, interest, or even deception can provide valuable information. It allows us to understand motives and strengthen bonds. Paying attention to patterns such as a persistent stare or blushing around someone can indicate romantic inclinations or attraction developing beneath the surface. Noticing discomfort with eye contact can signal shyness born of loving feeling. Pay attention to a woman's pupils when she looks at you. Their dilation is not just a sign of interest, but a non-verbal signal of attraction that we can't control. It's like the quiet whispering of nature, speaking of hidden emotions. Cicero said, the eyes are the mirror of the soul. And this is indeed true, especially when it comes to attraction. Next, pay attention to her gestures and facial expressions. If she is unconsciously copying your movements, it could be a sign that she likes you. This is a kind of attraction dance that happens on a subconscious level. Charles Colton said, Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and this is especially true in body language. Laughter is another key point. A woman who laughs often and responds to your humor is likely to feel sympathy for you. Not only does her laughter create a positive atmosphere, but it also suggests her disposition towards you. Victor Hugo said, Laughter is the sun that drives the winter from a man's face. And this is especially true when it comes to mutual attraction. 
Mirroring your emotions can also be a sign of attraction. It shows that she is responding to you emotionally, tuning into your feelings and experiences. Carl Rogers said, Empathy is seeing the world through the eyes of another. And there is some truth to that, especially when it comes to hidden attraction. Pay attention to her voice. If she unknowingly raises her tone of voice when talking to you, it could be a sign of her interest. This altered tone may be an attempt to show her femininity and availability. Barbara Streisand once said, The voice is the music of the soul, and in the context of flirting, this is especially meaningful. Tactile contact can also tell you a lot. Unobtrusive touching can indicate her interest in you. This is not only a way to create physical intimacy, but also a test of your reaction and comfort. Leo Biscaglia claimed, touch can convey more than words, and this is indeed true, especially in the language of nonverbal communication. Eye contact is also important. If she holds her gaze, it could be a sign of her interest. That prolonged stare could mean an attempt to make a deep emotional connection. Andre Jenkins said, Gaze is the unique language of deep emotional connection, and this is especially important when it comes to attraction and attraction. If she shows genuine interest in your hobbies and pastimes, this can also be a sign of her attraction. Shared interests strengthen the bond, as John Maxwell said. It's not just socializing. It's seeking to become part of your world and understand what's important to you. Pay attention to her behavior in different situations. If she gets nervous or shy in your presence, it could be a sign that she likes you. Stenthal said, Nervousness is the usual companion of great love, and this is especially true when it comes to hidden feelings. Think about the moments when she makes an effort to correct your clothes or accessories. This may not only be a caring gesture, but also an unconscious way to create physical intimacy. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, caring is a language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Also notice changes in her style of dress or hairstyle when she knows she's going to meet you. Women often unconsciously strive to look more attractive in the eyes of someone they like. As Coco Chanel said, fashion is not something that exists only in clothes. Fashion is in the air. In the street, fashion has to do with ideas, with the way we live, with what is going on around us. If she looks for opportunities to casually touch you, such as when she laughs, this too can be a sign of her latent attraction. These moments of casual touching are often subconscious in nature of attraction. Aristotle said, touch is the sense which ranks first among our perceptions. Notice the moments when she often mentions your shared memories or jokes. This can be a way to emphasize your shared history and emotional connection. Friedrich Nietzsche said, Shared memories are the best way to stay together. If she often asks for your opinion or advice, it can show that your opinion is important to her and she values your point of view. As Mark Twain said, the best way to see if you value someone's point of view is to ask for their advice. It's not just a conversation. It's an endeavor to be closer to you. Pay attention if she maintains a close space between you during your encounters. 
A woman who stays in close proximity may be unconsciously trying to increase her sense of inner connection. If she often looks at you when she thinks you can't see, it could be a sign that she is interested in you. Hidden glances are often an indication of inner preoccupation with thoughts about a person. Oscar Wilde observed, We always appreciate people who fascinate us. Remember the moments when she shares personal stories or emotions with you that she doesn't tell others. This trust may signal that you hold a special place in her heart. As George Eliot argued, trust is the highest kind of human interaction. If she is interested in your day or problems, it may not only be a sign of sympathy, but also a desire to share your burdens. Experiencing hardship together creates a unique emotional bond. Simone de Beauvoir said, Mutual understanding is above all a sharing of your riches and your shortcomings. If she puts your photo on social media or on her desktop, it could be a sign that she is proud of your relationship and wants to show you off to the world. It's a show of affection, but also recognizes you as an important part of her life. Anne Frank wrote, When we are in love, we are open to everything that life offers with such passion, as if we were seeing the world for the first time. Another interesting fact. If a woman shares personal stories and experiences with you, it can be a sign of trust and hidden attraction. Sheldon Cop said, Sharing is caring. It shows that she sees you not just as a friend, but as someone she wants to be on the same page with. Eye contact. The eyes are the mirror of the soul, as Leonardo da Vinci said. Research shows that if a woman avoids eye contact, it may indicate a lack of interest, while maintaining contact often indicates attraction and can also be a sign of confidence and a desire for a deeper emotional connection. Nonverbal Cues According to psychologists, up to 93 of communication is nonverbal. Women often communicate their feelings and moods through gestures and facial expressions, such as pointing their foot at an object of interest or playing with their hair, as well as using facial expressions and posture to subconsciously show their openness or interest in communicating. The importance of health and energy. Health is not everything, but without health, Everything is nothing, said Arthur Schopenhauer. Women are instinctively attracted to men who exude health and energy, as this is often associated with high vitality and the ability to make lasting contributions to relationships and family life. Fragrance Influence Mahatma Gandhi said, Fragrance always remains in the hand that gives flowers. Fragrances can have a strong influence on women's perceptions and feelings, especially if they are associated with positive memories or experiences. The importance of emotional support. Love is not only presence, it is attention. Stated in the words of Thomas Merton, mutual emotional support and attention in relationships is of utmost importance to women. Understanding, empathy, and the ability to listen are key factors that help to strengthen the love bond and create an atmosphere of trust and security in the couple. The influence of a man's mood. Carl Jung said, Mood creates reality. A man's mood can have a big impact on his attractiveness. 
in the eyes of women, as a positive mood is often seen as a sign of health, confidence, and social attractiveness. Romantic feelings. Movies and music can evoke and enhance romantic feelings, research shows. And this is especially true when the content of these media resonates with a person's personal experiences or dreams, enhancing their emotional perception and desire for romantic relationships. The effect of nature on mood. Studies show that being in nature has a strong positive effect on women's psychological well-being. Being outdoors surrounded by greenery and natural landscapes helps to reduce stress, improve mood, and increase overall life satisfaction, reducing the risk of disease. Regular physical intimacy can reduce women's risk of developing breast cancer and heart attacks. Research shows, as well as promote overall physical health and emotional well-being. By strengthening the immune system and improving circulation, impact of a sense of humor. A sense of humor plays an important role in a man's attractiveness. Studies show that women are more likely to prefer men who can make them laugh, as it is related to intelligence and social perception. Role of hobbies and pastimes. Albert Einstein once said. Hobbies give color to life. Hobbies and hobbies can play an important role in a woman's life, enriching her emotional world and promoting personal growth, as well as helping to build social connections and self-expression, which is important for overall well-being and life satisfaction. Importance of self-esteem. High self-esteem in women often correlates with happier and more satisfied relationships. Women with a positive self-image tend to build healthier and more harmonious relationships. Impact of education. Women with higher education tend to put marriage and motherhood on hold in favor of career and personal development. This also influences their choice of life partner and relationships in general. Social networks and relationships. Women are more active than men in using social networks to maintain social ties and socialize. This behavior reflects a wider range of communication skills and a desire to maintain social relationships. Role of empathy. Women tend to have a more developed sense of empathy than men. This promotes deep understanding and empathy in relationships and helps in conflict resolution. Effect of color on perception. Studies show that the color of clothing can influence a woman's perception. For example, red is often associated with attractiveness and passion. While blue can evoke feelings of trust and stability, the role of personal space. Women tend to be more sensitive to invasion of their personal space. They carefully choose who they allow to be close, and this choice can say a lot about the degree of trust and comfort in a relationship. The importance of creative self-actualization. Women who are creative or have art-related, or have art-related hobbies, often show higher levels of happiness and life satisfaction. Creative activities not only promote personal growth, but also help in expressing emotions and feelings. Effect of music on mood. Music has a strong influence on the emotional state of women. It can be used to improve mood, relieve stress, and even as a means to strengthen the bond with your partner while listening to it together. Women and career. Current research shows that career advancement and professional fulfillment increase women's self-confidence and sexual satisfaction. They feel more independent and valued, 
which has a positive impact on their personal lives. I have prepared for you some amazing facts from psychology, which will help you better understand the opposite gender and build strong relationships. You are on the Greatest Quotas channel. Enjoy watching. So first fact, women with higher levels of the male hormone testosterone are much more likely to cheat and change partners. This is due to high sexuality and poor self-control. Quiet people are actually talkative with people they feel comfortable with. Many psychological studies confirm this. Such people just need time to open up. Bernard Shaw's wisdom is that if a woman accepted and fell in love with a man when his pockets were empty, she deserves a much better life in the future when her chosen one's financial situation improves. Another curious fact from the psychology of relationships. Real natural girls are not perfect, and those who strive to hide every flaw and look perfect usually pretend. As the great Oscar Wilde said, Perfect girls are not real. As Mark Twain said, forgiving those who have wronged you is a gift to them, and forgetting their wrongs is a gift to yourself. Indeed, forgiving others is important for our own peace of mind. Forgiveness allows us to release the weight of negative feelings and resentments we carry within us. It does not mean forgetting or ignoring what has been done, but rather allowing ourselves to move forward without holding on to grudges and anger. According to research, if a relationship started with cheating, there is a high probability that the partner will cheat again. This is how human psychology works. This is because starting a relationship on the backdrop of infidelity can establish a certain pattern of behavior and perception of the relationship. A person who has broken trust once may believe that cheating is an acceptable part of a relationship and may repeat similar behavior in the future. Charlie Chaplin observed that some men come into a woman's life not just for sex, but to support, heal, and bring out her best qualities. This statement emphasizes the importance of deep and multifaceted relationships in which partners bring more than just physical attraction into each other's lives. They bring support, inspiration, and help reveal hidden sides of personality. A profound thought of the famous Paolo Coelho. Appreciate the efforts of your man because you do not know what it cost him to become in the eyes of the woman he loves a real hero. As Woody Allen rightly pointed out, for a man, Sex is all about having a partner and a place. A woman, on the other hand, needs a reason. Emotional connection is no less important than physical intimacy. Another interesting fact. As men and women get older, their priorities and partners differ greatly. Women increasingly value reliability, stability, and the ability to provide for a family. But men are still looking for youth, beauty, and attractiveness. The statistics of divorce proceedings show that the peak of divorces falls on four seven years of joint life. Just in this period, young spouses lose their former interest in each other. Quarrels begin. 
followed by adultery. A very important fact from psychology, people with high self-esteem loving and respecting themselves are much more easily able to find a soulmate and build harmonious relationships. The key difference between physical intimacy and love is that physical intimacy is primarily about getting pleasure and releasing tension. But true love, according to a Murua, creates tension. Physical intimacy relieves tension, while love causes it. After all, you are worried about your beloved jealous of him. Psychologists note that men much more often and longer remember about former lovers. They tend to idealize past relationships, recall the most romantic and pleasant moments. Women in this regard are more pragmatic. They focus on the present and the future, not on the past. Another important difference is how men and women experience painful breakups. Women, as a rule, recover faster from parting. After a couple of months, sad thoughts gradually recede into the background. But men are longer faithful to feelings, worries, suffer, close themselves off. Getting rid of depression after a breakup sometimes manages only after years. A surprising fact, 90s of women do not marry the men they truly love. Women choose men who are ready for marriage, who can provide for them and their future children. But such unions often turn out to be unhappy. Scientists have found out Quarrels and conflicts from time to time are even useful for relationships. They strengthen the union, provided that they are reconciled afterwards. In conclusion, I will cite the data of an interesting study. It turns out that married men are much less likely to suffer from depression and anxiety disorders. But the presence of a spouse for women is not as reliable protection from stress. Moreover, married women experience them even more often. 15 Signs of Emotional Maturity and Interesting Facts About Psychology Emotional intelligence is important for perceiving and understanding emotions and emotional maturity promotes appropriate reaction. These aspects are necessary for healthy relationships and a harmonious life not strictly tied to age. Maturity manifests itself in the ability to make decisions and interact appropriately in a variety of situations. Greatest Quotas Channel presents a few key traits of maturity. Self-awareness. Emotional maturity is formed through mindfulness, which includes being aware of oneself and one's action. People who possess this quality are able to observe themselves objectively, analyze situations dispassionately, and make rational decisions. Remember, as Leo Tzu said, he who understands others is wise. He who understands himself is enlightened. Responsibility. Reaching maturity means understanding the inherent responsibility of the individual. Mature individuals realize that everyone is responsible for their choices and impact on the world. Recognizing the consequences of one's actions leads to active thinking. Mature individuals believe in their ability to make positive changes. 
they realize that undesirable situations can change with their active actions. Passive existence is not for them as they are constantly aware of their impact on the world. Responsibility is a willingness to act, not just talk. Self-control. Self-awareness provides an advantage in developing self-control. By detecting irrational thoughts and emotions, you understand why you need to resist the temptation to act under their influence. This makes it easier to exercise restraint. Increased awareness provides greater control over actions that are potentially harmful in the long run. As Epictetus said, the first and foremost step to change is awareness. Humility. The mature ones value every decision and show humility. They have a deep understanding of the world order and do not take an arrogant stance regardless of status and success. Their egos are not inflated by achievement and they strive to support others. The mature ones recognize the obligation to treat people fairly and with respect. As the Dalai Lama said, true humility is to think neither good nor bad of oneself. Self-acceptance. Maturity gives the ability to genuinely accept oneself. The mature realize and acknowledge their limitations without exaggerating or belittling them. Maturity involves striving for growth by accepting the real self. Realizing the progress is made through acceptance of one's current state allows one to face the future with clarity. Studies show that people who accept themselves with all their flaws tend to be happier and more successful in life. Gratitude. In addition to self-awareness and self-acceptance, maturity fosters a deep sense of gratitude for the positive aspects of life. Mature individuals appreciate every moment spent with loved ones, enjoy joy in activities and recognize the gift of existence. Recognizing the value of each moment helps avoid taking things for granted. As Epictetus said, it is not things in themselves, but our attitude toward them that causes us suffering or joy. Compassion. Through gratitude, the mature can deeply empathize with others. They genuinely desire the good of those around them and act in ways that have a positive impact. Understanding the interconnectedness of the world allows them to empathize with others' pain as their own. This motivates them to contribute by spreading love and positivity. Their kindness is selfless as they see it, as everyone's shared responsibility. As mother, Teresa said, if you judge people, you won't have time to love them. Other-centeredness. Being emotionally mature means putting unity and connection above self-interest. The mature rejoice in the successes of others and support initiatives to improve the well-being of all. A mature finds satisfaction in supporting others and strives to create a supportive environment for all. Maturity is the ability to care for the needs of others equally with one's own. Openness to the world. Knowledge and understanding break down mental barriers, making the mature open-minded they realize that situations are rarely black and white. Each has nuances. Maturity allows them to perceive this when confronted with new ideas and opinions. Mature maintains an open mind and doesn't judge a different way of life. They recognize the possibility of being wrong. As Albert Einstein said, 
A mind open to the new is the source of eternal youth. A sense of wonder. Maturity not only opens up a new way of looking at the world, reviving a sense of delight and wonder similar to that of childhood, but it will also give you the ability to see something amazing in every moment. This transformation signals a shift and expansion of one's worldview, allowing you to rediscover the beauty of the world and bring joy both in nature and in your own existence. Emotional maturity brings with it a curiosity for deeper questions about life. Optimism combined with realism. Maturity involves the art of harmonizing optimism with realism, looking at life through a positive prism, recognizing its difficulties. The key to living a fulfilling life lies in maintaining a positive outlook on every situation and anticipating the future. With each passing day, just as Ehrman Hesse said, to live, we need to transform ourselves into a human child, despite memories and experiences. Otherwise, we only age physically, not spiritually. Flexibility. Maintaining a positive outlook on life includes the ability to be flexible in any situation. By realizing that life is inherently dynamic, you realize the importance of being willing to adapt to circumstances at a given moment in time. An intuitive understanding that personal growth and improvement requires moving forward, pushes you to be open to change and adapt to the unpredictable nature of life. As John Wooden said, it's not the fittest that survive, but those who adapt best to change. Resilience. This quality trait is closely intertwined with the flexibility and optimism that is evident in mature individuals. The ability to overcome obstacles despite their severity is their strength. They maintain a positive attitude and persistently seek solutions. Mature personalities avoid succumbing to difficulties, relying on the strength they have accumulated through previous challenges rather than balking at setbacks. By actively taking the initiative, they solve problems and quickly get back to moving forward. Patience is another outstanding trait of a mature personality. Recognizing that some things take time and may not meet immediate desires allows them to understand the importance of effort and perseverance. This patience also extends to their interactions with others as they realize that people will not always behave as expected. Honesty is an essential trait of emotional maturity. Emotionally maturity. Emotionally mature individuals value and try to maintain openness in relationships, avoiding masks and lies. Their preference for candor and authenticity is key, as they recognize that honesty is not just a rule, but a fundamental aspect of mature behavior. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, honesty is the best policy even if it is not practiced by everyone. Immersing yourself in analyzing these qualities reveals insights into which ones reflect your personality and which ones are worth working on. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section with confidence. Today, we're revealing fascinating psychological facts about female attractiveness. The more attractive a woman is, the less she has uh, ready to find out. Then let's dive into this fascinating world of psychology and motivation together.
subscribe, like, and let's get started. Life is a miracle sparkling with amazing moments. Don't be afraid of difficulties. They are just trials that each of us goes through. Learn to appreciate your joys like sparkling stars in the night sky. Be strong for days cannot be predicted. In gratitude for every moment, even on difficult days, lies your true strength. Your heart is an indestructible fortress. In patience and faith lies the magic that keeps your soul tender, even in the darkest corners of the world. Every event, especially hard lessons, is a chance to grow wiser and stronger. Look at your growth, not as an inevitable burden, but as a blessing that makes you a beautiful person. Be grateful. Pray for the best in people. Forgive the worst in your hearts. And remember that even in the most difficult situations, there is a light within you that can light the way. Shine not only with your outer beauty, but also with your inner light. Audrey Hepburn wisely reminded us that beauty is as fleeting as a moment but your inner greatness remains forever. Strive for self-development. Enrich your mind and soul because it is inner beauty and wisdom that create the real key to success. Give the world something that will pass centuries and let your light remain in people's hearts forever. Life is as much about the sweet as it is about the bitter. By tasting both, we truly appreciate the beauty of the moment. Let yourself savor every taste of this amazing experience. Sometimes silence is the strongest response. It's not always worth it to listen to empty excuses. Actions speak louder than words, especially in the hours when the heart demands the truth. When it's time to go, material things become unimportant. What you give, love, time, kindness, shines forever, transcending the boundaries of time and space. Pain changes us, but don't forget. These changes are part of our unique process of becoming. Embrace them as wise mentors on your journey to a better version of yourself. Over time, beautiful women are more likely to become unhappy in their marriages. Husbands stop appreciating them at face value. As popular wisdom says, a husband is proud of his wife's beauty before others, but he has to live with her character. When in doubt of your abilities, move so far that the doubts become mere whispers of wind. Your strength is incomparable. Live life with those who bring happiness not those in front of whom you need to impress. Happiness is the key to the door of inner harmony. Begin your journey of self-improvement by controlling your thoughts. The way you think shapes what you do. Your inner dialogue is your strength and direction. Hiding behind a mask of attractiveness. Insecurity may be lurking inside. Remember the words of Marilyn Monroe. People rarely notice how insecure I feel about myself in reality. True strength comes from inner confidence. Develop your inner resilience and let your true confidence shine brighter than any outward appeal. Remember that you are something totally unique, just like everyone else. Individuality is your great gift to the world. It's not just the outcome that is important in achieving your goals, but the transformation that occurs in the process. You become not only an achiever of your goals, but a renewed individual. The more beautiful a woman is, the less complexes she has. She gets used to the admiration and attention of others, so she doesn't need to compensate for anything. Coco Chanel aptly noted, 
A beautiful woman should define her life just as she chooses the right outfit, according to her appearance and character. Love is the art of revealing depth, and it often happens in the hour of separation. Allow yourself to love and be loved with an open heart. Being truly loved gives strength, and deep love gives courage and light in the darkest moments. The more attractive a woman is, the less dependent she is on external beauty standards. Women who realize their uniqueness and value are less likely to submit to the dictates of external beauty standards, which contributes to a positive self-perception and strengthened self-esteem. From life's unfortunate chapters, amazing stories are born, and wrong paths lead to the places where you find your truth. Sometimes you have to lose yourself to find your true self. Beautiful women, break free from the chains of envy and the fear of losing your beauty. Christian Dior wisely said, envy eats the souls of beautiful women. Your uniqueness is immeasurable and true beauty radiates from within. Don't waste energy fighting others. Instead, focus on your own growth and inner radiance. Let your brilliance illuminate not only your days, but also the souls of those around you. Girls who prefer romantic comedies and melodramas often turn out to be too romantic and idealistic in real life. They believe in love at first sight and are looking for a prince on a white horse. Women who are used to competing with their sisters for their parents' attention from childhood grow up to be more competitive. In adulthood, it is difficult for them to enjoy the success of their friends. Realizing the maternal instinct, many women subconsciously choose partners who can be brought up and corrected. Friends often notice that girls who dream of having children meet infantile and emotionally immature men. Perhaps in such couples there is a mutual benefit. She shows care and he feels cared for son. There is an interesting fact confirmed by research. Women often make attempts to touch, hoping for a reaction from a man. They use casual touching to subtly test whether these contacts will trigger some kind of attraction. Unfortunately, many men fail to notice these subtle signals escaping their attention. Desire fixed on a woman's face is revealed through her facial expressions, vividly expressing interest and attraction. This is the art of emotional expression on the surface of the skin, where every wrinkle, every facial muscle becomes metaphorical colors on the canvas of her inner world. Unfortunately, these subtle and deep signals often escape the attention of men, creating a mysterious canvas of unidentified feelings and desires. Knee stroking, according to psychologists, is a vivid manifestation of sexual interest. That moment when touch becomes not only a physical interaction, but a metaphorical bridge leading to a world of intimate desire and attraction. This action, seemingly so simple, actually takes us into a zone of mystery where secret desires can blossom under light and unexpected touch. The open pose in the world of psychology is a kind of code that decodes interest and frankness. Whereas closed postures can speak of disinterest or even barriers to communication, open posture tells the opposite. It's like a secret body language that speaks of a willingness to communicate and interact. When a person opens their posture, whether its arms spread wide or legs spread loosely, it's like an invitation to enter their world, creating an atmosphere of mutual understanding and trust. Behavior such as crossing your legs can be a powerful magnet for attracting a man's attention to a woman's legs. 
This moment when the legs intertwine effortlessly and gracefully creates a visual appeal, acting as a secret body language. Studies of body psychology emphasize that such gestures often carry overtones of sexual interest all in a moment where a man's gaze can be drawn in a direction where it becomes difficult to resist the magic of nonverbal communication. A momentary blink can be a subtle but expressive signal of interest. Psychological research emphasizes that a quick blink can be a nonverbal expression of inner excitement and interest. It seems that men, at times, do not seem to realize this point, overlooking the fine line between a casual blink and a flicker that can emphasize interest. Thus, in this visual language of the eyes, we can detect a non-verbal code that goes unnoticed by most men. Next, our gaze falls on the mysterious swaying of the hips, a bright and open sign meant for attentive men. This physical form of expression carries an indescribable attraction and the magic of attraction. It's no wonder that many males overlook this subtle but intense signal of female passion and interest. One of the most graceful and subtle signals in the world of flirting is the lifting of the breasts. This act of female mimicry is aimed at drawing attention to her natural beauty and inner confidence. Women who resort to this gesture thus not only emphasize their physical charms, but also express their readiness for attention and companionship. It seems that men sometimes overlook this nonverbal language. Missing the opportunity to decipher the deep messages of a woman's soul. Flipping hair is not only an unconscious movement, but also a real art of attracting attention. This moment, when a woman releases her hair with a slight movement of her hand, can be a great way to express inner confidence and the desire to be noticed. However, Many men, alas, overlook this delicate signal, remaining ignorant of the fact that their interactions with this woman can be rich in emotion and possibility. The submissive gaze is not just a facial expression, but a powerful way of expressing a woman's submission and inviting a man into her world. Lowered eyebrows and lightly arched wrists carry deep meaning, signaling that this woman is open to interaction and ready to accept her potential partner's leadership. Unfortunately, not all men pick up on this subtle body language, missing the opportunity to realize that in front of them is not only a beautiful face, but also an inner readiness for a close relationship gentle stroking of objects is a subtle but clear sign of desire for intimacy and touch. When a woman unconsciously caresses or plays with close objects, it expresses her inner longing for physical contact. This moment plunges us into a world of female secrets and desires that sometimes go unnoticed by the male gaze. However, if you pay attention to these tiny gestures, you can feel the invisible thread of attraction and cozy intimacy in the air, ready to blossom at the first touch. Licking the lips is an unconscious effort to give the lips a special attraction and appeal. When a woman caresses her lips with her tongue, it is like a mysterious sign created under the influence of inner feelings and desires. This gesture carries magic as if hinting at hidden passions that she is ready to share. Sometimes lip expression becomes a kind of secret language that invites to the enchanting dance of feelings. The ability to unravel this language opens the door to the world of her desires 
and lifts the veil of secrecy as if a foreshadowing of something deeper and more passionate. Thank you for taking us on this fascinating dive into the world of psychology and the secret signals of attraction. If you appreciated our research and want to learn even more interesting facts, don't forget to subscribe to our Greatest Quotas channel, where we reveal the most amazing secrets of female psychology. Today's video is dedicated to a topic that worries many people. How to attract the attention of a young woman. If you are older, you'll be surprised, but 99s of older men don't even realize what really attracts young women. Stay tuned and you'll learn the secrets that will help you do just that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you don't miss our next videos. The Attractiveness of Experience Many young women are not just looking for age in a partner, but for the life experience that comes with age. It is your experience and knowledge that can attract them. Maturity and wisdom gained over time is often valued far more highly than youth or outward. Attractiveness The importance of life experience cannot be underestimated as it brings a depth and stability to a relationship that is sorely lacking in youth. As Oscar Wilde once said, youth is a treasure, but experience is the key to it. Positive attitude towards life. A charming smile and a joyful spirit can do wonders. Be happy and enjoy life because young women are often looking for older, fun-loving men. They are attracted not only by wisdom and experience, but also by the ability to savor every moment, show interest and curiosity about the world around you. It makes a man more attractive and alive. The ability to stay young at heart and enjoy the little things in life is a key quality that attracts people of all ages. As Mark Twain once said, age is a matter of mind over matter. If you don't care how old you are, it doesn't matter. The importance of kindness. Stand out from the crowd by contrasting the behavior of your female peers, who often behave rudely and arrogantly. Your kindness and consideration are not just qualities, they are your main trump cards that attract and mesmerize. After all, true attractiveness comes not only from your appearance, but also from the depth of your soul and your ability to be kind. Courtesy and sincere participation to others create around you an aura of positivity and attraction, which is valued in any society. Do not forget that sincere kindness can work wonders, opening people's hearts and creating strong and long-lasting relationships. Style and Self-Presentation In a world where first impressions can make all the difference, never underestimate the power of a stylish self-presentation. An elegant and well-groomed style of dress can greatly increase your attractiveness among members of the opposite this is due not only to visual perception, but also to the psychological impact that a neat appearance has on young girls. When you are dressed with confidence and taste, it not only enhances your appearance, but also boosts your self-esteem, as Coco Channel once said, fashion passes, style remains. This emphasizes the eternal value of personal style over temporary trends. The value of maturity. In an ocean of youthful passions and uncertainties, your maturity can be a beacon for young women seeking stability and sincerity. Show your maturity and ability to build relationships without drama and lies. Young women aren't just looking for a romantic partner, but for 
the reliability that a mature man brings. Your life experience and wisdom may be exactly what young girls appreciate and are looking for. This combination of attractiveness, stability, and honesty creates a deep and meaningful attraction. As Franz Kafka said, Youth is happy failure. Maturity is difficult freedom. This quote emphasizes the transition from youthful insecurity to mature self-knowledge and confidence. The power of honesty in a world where masks and pretense have become commonplace. Honesty is your most powerful weapon in attracting young girls. Be open and honest. Honesty is seen as a sign of strength and reliability, which is especially valued by young women. Psychological studies show that honest people are perceived as more attractive and trustworthy. Your sincerity and candor create an atmosphere of security and trust, which is the foundation for any healthy long-term relationship, as Ernest Hemingway said. The best way to know if you can trust a man is to trust a man, is to trust him. This quote reflects the importance of honesty and trust in any relationship, emphasizing its value in building and deepening connections. In addition, being honest with yourself and others allows you to build deeper and more meaningful relationships that will be based on mutual respect and understanding. Discussing Age Differences Openly discussing age differences can be an asset to you by demonstrating the openness and honesty that attracts young girls. This openness indicates maturity and confidence, which is a desirable quality. Understanding and recognizing this difference can foster deeper interactions. As Friedrich Nietzsche said, he who has a purpose in life is able to endure almost anything. This quote emphasizes the power of purpose and meaning in life including relationships where age differences can enrich rather than hinder. Understanding and respecting age differences in relationships helps build more harmonious and sustainable bonds based on mutual trust and understanding. Here comes the end of our informative psychological facts video. But remember, the most important thing is to be yourself and appreciate what you have to offer. Don't forget that each of us is unique and everyone has different strengths when it comes to finding a relationship. Hopefully these tips will help you find that special young woman. If you have your own stories or tips, share them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our Greatest Quotas channel so you don't miss out on even more helpful information. See you soon and stay beautiful. Your stories and experiences can be a valuable contribution to our community because sharing experiences and perspectives is always enriching and inspiring. Hi friends.